I would say this was secondary structure in protein. So my claim is, is that one of the reasons that Rosalind Franklin didn't actually get uh, to the double helix is that she was a really good scientist, and Watson and Crick were not good scientists. She said, look, I can see, I can see right through you. You just found out that Linus Pauling figured out the alpha helix and protein, and you wannabes who don't know jack shit about biochemistry want an alpha helix. And you want to do nu nucleic acid as an alpha helix and look based on the X-ray crystallography of the Maltese cross. You're going to try to shove DNA into something so you get to be Linus Pauling all over again. And I don't want any part of it. And the problem for her was, yeah, helices are ubiquitous at all different levels, right? So in other words, Watson and Crick didn't own the double helix. What happened is, is that a very common structure that's going to come up over and over again, it's going to come up in viruses, where you have helical viruses, you have it in protein, you have it in nucleic acid. That structure is because there's a platonic form, which you're finding here. You're going to find helices over and over and over again 